Welcome back, everyone, to part six of Let's Play Gunstar Heroes. Probably part seven, actually. All right, that's good enough, I suppose. Today, we're going to be taking on the core of the system and these guys, who are pretty lame and fun to shoot. To be honest with you, they're actually quite easy. You just don't want to let them grab you, as is the theme with this game. So just, you know, get these health things. As you know, I had to start over with this level, so I could actually have enough health to beat the boss. Because I suck. But it's okay. Also, by the way, just for you guys, I waited to get, uh, to get, well, to, I waited to play Fallout New Vegas. I still haven't played it. <sighs> Excuse me. And it's sitting there. Boss is approaching. Core guard system. Guard device, unit of the hammer, unit of the dragon, unit of the runner. Alright, we've got hammer force here. This one's pretty easy. It just flies around up there. Hammer force! Uh, if you run fast enough, it's easy. Usually, he won't catch you, but... You know, just keep your tracking gun on him, and everything should turn out alright. Now, sometimes he'll do that, sometimes you'll get away from him. I don't know why, but, like, he just... Alright, and he can still hurt you after you after he's dead, which is a pain in the butt. Anyway, are you kidding me? That didn't happen before. Anyway, so, uh, oh, Dragon Force. Ha, <laughs> Dragon Force. You know what we should do? I'll tell you what we should do. Okay, that's enough of that. Anyway, uh, let's get back to it. Uh, the next part is uh, Running Force. It's actually, uh, I, don't, I don't know, it's probably called Unit of the Runner. I, I fudged a little bit, I guess, just so I could play that music, but it was pretty fun. Did you see that? It was so epic. I didn't get hit once. So, yeah. What can I say? I'm pretty awesome like that. Alright, this guy's pretty easy. He gets caught in what I like to call a stupid loop. Um, the bosses will sometimes get caught in a loop of... Uh, attacks that you can predict really easily. Um, now, watch me say that and just completely mess it up. Yeah, he does that one, and then the next one is the one you jump. Okay. After that, uh, wow, what? Now, see, like I say, he gets caught in a stupid loop, and then what happens? Alright, I think I got it down now. That easy. Once you get the hang of what his pattern is, it's pretty easy to predict what he's going to do. And you just jump. That blue one is a tracker, so you jump up both times, no matter what. Don't try to do anything fancy to avoid it, it's really not worth it. And he'll come up close like that and sometimes get you, so you gotta be careful of that. Anyway, um... Generally speaking, though, these bosses aren't that hard. Um, if, if you don't panic, you know, it's really easy. And we're almost done with him. Die already, jeez, 20, 20 HP. There he goes, and his head goes on fire! He's just like a Buddhist monk. Too far? Perhaps. Anyway, uh, <gasps> stage clear. That means I think I have enough time to go on to the next one. We'll see. Uh, yeah, anyway, so New Vegas. Haven't played it yet. For you guys, because I love you so much. Alright, this level's one of my favorites. It's cool. One, because look at Pinky. Like, half of her body has been cut off somehow. Um, and it's like you're watching everything play out from the perspective of the bad guys. And you're going to want the tracking laser for this level, by the way. Um, so if you were using the double tracker for the last level, use the tracking laser for this one. Um, in this level, you basically revisit all the old bosses. It's really simple. So, there comes Pinky's, uh, you know, minions, the Duck Battalion. They're lamer than crap. Uh, they can hit you, and, you know, I, they're, they're not bad, I guess. But they're not great, either. 
just keep a beat on them and, you know, let them think that they know how to do something. And they're going to try to shoot here, and you just duck under that. Then, you know, jump up uh, past that, and boom, defeated off-screen. You guys are lame. No way. Oh yeah, and this guy comes up and tries to do something. He's pretty freaking lame, too. Just, yeah. Uh, and then he goes and dies. Did he die already? Sheesh. How long does it take? I actually let him hit me. And then he goes, BOOM! And shoots himself up. And the other guy's like, oh my goodness, come on, help me. Help me, somebody help me! Anyway, uh, this, oh, I forgot about that. And there's probably something useful in there. Yep, hearts. Alright, this part. It's going to seem like you're not going to be able to avoid these balls, but, um, just, uh, what you can do, if I weren't so lame at this, what you can do is jump into them like I just didn't. I wanted to display it for you, but that didn't work. Obviously. Alright, so, we're going to defeat, who next, who next? Oh yeah, Pinky. Pink Lobster. Pinky, Pinky. Hauser. Pinky. Oh, I disappeared. Alright, now I was talking about stupid loops. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Now he's, she's gonna come up here and we're just gonna... We're just gonna go under her like that and we're gonna do it again. Alright, now this... Here. You just duck under him. Now this is what I call the stupid loop, okay? Get ready for it, because it's amazing. You get... Once you finally get a bead on uh, the character, once you finally get a, a bead on Pinky, a lot of times what she'll do, and we're going to see it here in a second, actually. All right, get a bead on Pinky, and she's ah, she's not doing it this time. Seriously? Do it already. Come on. Do your bubble bomb. Okay, now what she'll do is when she's standing there, the thing won't hit. And as you can see, she's not doing anything. I could stay here infinitely, pretty much, and nothing would happen. So you move forward a little bit, and she shoots bubbles at you. But you've still got a beat on her, so when they bend down to shoot those bubbles at you, when they bend down to basically be a giant, you know, crab king from Pokemon, that's when they make themselves vulnerable, and your tracking laser, unlike the double tracker, will stay on the bad guy while they're doing the bubble thing. That is what I call a stupid loop. They get stuck in this, for some reason, the bosses in this level get stuck in doing something completely idiotic. And they keep doing the same attack until you kill them. And it's just, I mean, it's not just easy to predict. You can stand in one place and not get hit the entire time. It's, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, that's where the tracking laser comes in handy. And those little guys are just bombers. And the health, the health, uh pods in this uh, level are so good. Alright, and we're going to fight Jay Luno's brother again. And he doesn't fart this time. I would suggest starting out by jumping up here away from him, and then he's going to do that thing. So, oh, he actually started out with that. And then he'll jump back down. And he may get into a stupid loop. He's a little harder to get at, into a stupid loop. But if you do it right, you can keep him... Uh, you can keep him up top, um, sliding around while you just basically run around on the bottom floor and let him slide around. And it's literally that easy. Let's see if we can get him to do it. There we go. Alright, now get into that stupid loop, please. Uh, let him hit me that time. Now, usually he doesn't hit me, but he got lucky this time. All right, let's keep moving. If he doesn't get into a stupid loop, it's not that big a deal. But he'll do that and then just slide around. He'll do that slide constantly. And you can just basically check it out. See, look at that. He did it twice. Now, a lot of times I can get, it to do him, get him to do it eight, nine times before he realizes I'm on the ground. I'm not getting so lucky this particular level, but oh well. All right. Our last two item containers for the rest of this level. Not for the rest of the game. You'll get one more chance to get some items before you fight the God of Ruin. Or basically a giant robot controlled by the crystals that you worked so hard to get throughout the uh, level. Okay, and Danny DeVito's back with uh, a spaceship, I guess. Just keep a beat on him. And he's going to do these weird things. He calls himself the Black Fly. 
I don't know. But he's going to shoot down these things. They won't always be so easy to avoid. Um, many of them spin, but the majority of, like those ones. The majority of the time, you will not get ridiculously difficult ones to dodge, though. The majority of the time, he's going to start out with the ones that I just showed you. And then he'll do that, which is just way too easy to avoid. You just stand there, basically. And then he's going to do it again, but he's going to do this. Now, what I suggest you do here, and I'm, I'm not sure this will work, you just hit him. Now, usually you can get them done before that. If not, block those, um, those, uh, block those attacks. Block that attack that, uh, that spins around like that in a pinwheel. Because you will not be able to avoid it, generally speaking. Alright, green. We're fighting our brother again. Oh, my God, brother, why? Oh, no, no, brother. Alright, anyway, he's pretty easy. Um, just jump up and down and let him think that he's doing something. Uh, this is one his stupid loop. This is what his stupid loop looks like. You just you know jump up and down too quick for him to attack and get any closer. And he'll do that, and your guns will track them, and you can jump back down again. And if he gets too close, you know, kick him. It's pretty much that easy. And he his attacks don't get much harder the entire level. And let him let him do something. Oh, ooh, he got me once. Ooh, man. I'm scared now. I've got 184 vitality, Green. Just give it up, dude. Oh, man, he hit me with his starry things. I'm gonna see if I can get him to jump up here, and then I can trick him. Watch this. You can kick him so easy. Oh, apparently not. But you can throw him, which is not too hard to do. And he falls down, and acts all sad. And you can keep hitting him while he's down, by the way, so keep a bead on him with your tracking laser. The best policy I can think of. Again, he's not too hard. A lot of times he'll get in a stupid loop where you just jump up and down for about five minutes and hit him. He does that stupid phase-out thing that all the characters do. They're normal humans instead of robots, so you can't just constantly attack them. And once those things hit the wall, by the way, they're no longer dangerous, so... Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him go. And you can just dodge right under those things. Oh, you can't hit him while he's down, by the way. I, I lied. I thought you could. I totally thought you could. And we're almost got him down. I'm gonna... You can almost always dodge under those things. I'm gonna give him a throw to kill him. Oh, that's right! Show you to betray the family. Ooh, mind control device. Or bomb. I don't know. Didn't hurt me. And of course, we confront Jay Leno. You won't get away with it this time, Jay Leno. Oh no! What's happening? I'm not gonna tell you. In fact, I'm gonna leave it to the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Next time we're gonna take on the God of Ruin. And, um, oh yeah, I forgot to announce my blind LP. I'm going to be LPing a game I've never played before. The game based on the home improvements it got. So, yeah. <sighs> I don't like licensed games very much. We'll see what happens. I hope it turns out well. It might not. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.